Hi guys, this is current challenge. It's called playing with characters. Here we're going to receive some inputs for a character, a full word, and a full sentence. So let me scroll down here. This is their sample inputs. So we're going to request inputs for a character. In this case, it's going to be C. Then we're going to request some inputs for a full word. And in this case, it will be language. And then for a full sentence, welcome to C. This challenge will be done in C language, not in C++. So we're not going to use C in, C out, or get line. Rather, we're going to use scan F and print F. Now, it's pretty easy. You can simply use basic format strings to get a character and also to get a string, just like this here. But there is one issue. We need to store a full sentence in a variable and print it on the console. But if you use percentage %s with the scan f function, only the first word is going to get accepted. That is what they explain here. It will only accept the string until it finds the first space. So if I write something like hello world, only hello is going to be stored in my string s. So let me jump into my solution here to explain to you what you have to do. I'm going to remove that comment. We don't need it anymore. And now we can go ahead and declare our variables. So we are not using any string data type directly like in C++. So we are going to use a char array. So here I have this data type char, and then I have S, which is the name of my string. And I'm setting the maximum size of that word to 50 characters. So it's going to be an array of characters with size 50. And then I'm also getting an array of characters for my sentence. It's called sent for sentence and the maximum size of that array is going to be 100. So I can store up to 100 characters. And then finally here, I'm simply declaring a character variable. So this here does not have any square brackets for the array index operator. So it's simply a char variable, not a char array. So I have this scanf function, and then here I have percentage %c to get the inputs for my ch variable. Now, because ch is simply a variable, I need to add this ampersand right before the name of the variable to get the address because I want to store the inputs, the character input here at the address of ch. Next up, I use the scan f function again. This time around, I'm using percentage %s to get a string and store it into s. Now for s, I don't need to add the ampersand before the name because it's already a pointer to the first element in that char array. So like you've seen many times before, whenever we deal with arrays, the name of the array is a pointer to the first element in the array. So I don't need to add an ampersand to get the address. Before I explain this line, let me go ahead and explain this other scan f function. And it looks a bit complicated because we have percentage and then in between these square brackets, I have the caret symbol and then the next line character. So let me explain what is happening here. When you use percentage %s just like that, it's going to read the first word and stop once it meets the first space, like I've explained before. So if we want to accept a full sentence that includes full words and spaces as well, we want to specify via the scanf function that we need to read every single character up until we meet the next line character. Or in other words, we want to read the full sentence until we press enter. So this here is a regular expression. And to give you a quick demonstration, let me switch to regex101.com. So here I have this sentence. Hey guys, please subscribe, which I hope you do. If I try and match the next line character, you can see here where I'm moving my mouse, I have backward slash and then N, that is the next line character. And if I try to find that in my sentence, there is no match. So it says here, no match, zero milliseconds. Now, if I go here before the word please, and I go to the next line, now I have one match. And you can see that it tells me it's between the uh, position 10 and 11. And the reason why they say 10, 11 is because this is the first character, second, third one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then between 10 and 11, that is where I have my next line character. You can see it, but in fact, this is a new line character. So why do we have this caret symbol in our solution? Like I said, we want to read every character until we meet the next line. So if you add the caret symbol right here, it means every character until the next line. So in fact, uh, I'm also going to add the square brackets to enable the matching. And you can see that right here, everything is now highlighted because there are now 26 matches. Everything matched because we don't have the next line character. If I go to the end of my string, and I press space, one, two, three, four, five, you can see my spaces are also getting matched because these are also characters. 
and they are not the next line character. So it's matching. But if I go here and I press enter, nothing is working. If I press space here, it is still getting matched, but not the next line character. So that's what we are seeing. And that is how we can get the full inputs for our sentence. So next up, we have this percentage C. So this is normally for characters, but then we have this asterisk, meaning that we can go ahead, read the next line and then discard it. So now the reason why we have this scan F is because this might give us some errors if we simply add this here without this line, because then this is going to add a next line character. And if we read it right away, we might get an error. So we first capture that next line and then we go ahead and get our full sentence. If it's not clear to you, please feel free to leave a question and I'll get back to you. All right, so now that we have our character, our sentence and our full word, let's go ahead and simply print them. So for that, I have print F, then percentage C, the next line character. And the reason why I have this next line character is because they say we have to print them on next line. So one output on every line. So this is going to be for the character, I'm printing CH, then I have print F for my single word. And finally, I have print F for my full sentence. So it's still a string, but this time around, it's a string that contained spaces. That's why I'm also having percentage S here. So that's it. Let me now run this code and we pass the test case. I believe there is only one test case for this challenge, but let me go ahead and submit. We actually have three and we've passed all three of them. So out of curiosity, I'm going to unlock the hackles and this is what we have. So we have H for the character, hello for the full word, and how are you for the full sentence. And for this one, I'm also going to unlock it with five hackles. And this time around, we have Z, then learning, and C is fun. So that's it, guys, for this Hackerank Challenge. If you like my solution, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.